Hello, welcome. I'm going to play Burger Time Party on the Switch. The opening Data East logo is just, you know, to recognize Data East as the developer of the original Burger Time. This one's by G Mode and published by Xseed. And it is just a modern take on the Burger Time formula. So, the game gives you this options box down here, but it's not really options. You can't change anything in the game. It's just to watch the opening scene and the credits. So the opening scene only plays when you first start the game. I'll play it now, but honestly, there's not, not much to see here. It's just a, a little quick cartoon with no voices. Just Peter Pepper the chef making some burgers, throwing away some ingredients, and then they attack him. So if you've played the original Burger Time, You'll be plenty familiar with this, but there is a bit more to it than just building burgers and dodging enemies. The levels themselves are filled with various contraptions and obstacles. You can use levers, climb through vents, and there's slippery ice-covered surfaces, flaming grill surfaces, conveyor belts, platforms and ladders that break. So there's a lot more to it. Now here nothing important but it just surprises me you know Peter Pepper is yelling it's showing those icons representing you know he's probably saying something bad but it's a circle cross triangle square which of course are the PlayStation you know controller buttons I mean I, I don't know why they, <laughs> they use those this is a switch game I mean, at the time of my recording it's only available on switch so when you start the game, Solo Burger is the only thing that's available. Everything else is locked, but it doesn't take long to unlock them. They just want you to play through the first 20 training missions. And over here, trophies, of course they unlock just naturally as you play, just for defeating enemies and finishing levels with certain ratings. You get bronze, silver, and gold star ratings on everything. So this will just tell you what with the trophies for and then as you get better they'll get upgraded okay so solo mode you know obviously one player only main and battle modes are for one two four players actually battles two to four main is one to four you need at least two people to play battle because it's players battling each other that's where one player can be a chef and other players can be the enemies Main Burger is a cooperative mode where everybody's a chef, you share lives, and you can revive the other players. So I'll just show you solo really quick. I can't show you multiplayer since I'm alone, and I only have the one controller. So, you know, the first group's the training, and then there's 30 additional levels on top of the training. So I've played through all of them. Of course, I don't have gold stars on all of them. See, these levels aren't the most interesting levels here at the end, but they will show some of the, the new additions here as far as levers. I think a lot of these last levels like the levers, which I think <laughs> the most annoying part because if you're standing too close to a lever, you won't be able to use pepper. You only use one button in this game. So what happens here is all the enemies popped out of garbage cans and they'll stay up there unless I pull the levers. You could just complete the level really quick, but then you don't get as many points. So that's the key. All the levels, they're easy enough to finish, but if you want to get the gold stars, you're going to have to eliminate enemies at the same time. So this is just kind of a big mess. <laughs> it's like trying to get a lot of them onto this. So I didn't really get that many. I don't think it's a good score at all. But that's a lot of the game is just trying to navigate the, the levels and 
use patience too to get the enemies onto the burger parts to drop them. Because in the original game, you're just going for the high score, but it's the cumulative high score <laughs> across all levels. Basically, however far you can get. It doesn't really matter how many points you score on a level, but here it's, you know, standalone stages where you're just trying to max out your score. So on this one, there are flames. So I need to get off that platform before it burns. And it will kill the enemies if they're on it. Oh, burned me. The thing is, it doesn't matter. Sometimes you might want to sacrifice a life just to get to a certain spot or to get the enemies grouped up. I don't want to wait for them to get revived, so I'll just finish it. That's basically the whole game unless you're doing multiplayer. <laughs> like I said, if you know Burger Time, you, you know what you're doing. You know what to expect. Let me jump to the other mode. I think the other mode that can be single player main burger, I think it's 50 levels. I haven't finished these. Some are still locked, but you can see how far it goes, and there's five per screen, so it looks like there's 50 levels here. So aside from levers, there's flames, there's ice, conveyor belts. Like I mentioned, there's ventilation, platforms and ladders that break. Looks like this one's just gonna be popping out the pickle enemy. The most difficult thing I find is just getting off the ladder at the correct time. Oh, there's an egg now. Difficult walking up the conveyor belt the wrong way. That power up will freeze the enemies. Oops, I got hit. There are a lot of power ups in this mode. I've got invincibility right now. short of gold. So one disappointment is that the original isn't included unfortunately. Sometimes you'll find these retro remakes or updates will include the original but as far as I can tell it's not here and there's no original graphic options or original sound options. Let's try a slippery kitchen which is probably got a lot of ice. The ice is Probably the most difficult part, maybe. Well, sometimes those lever levels full of levers can be a pain too, but when you're sliding across the ice, of course, you'll slide into enemies, so you gotta be very careful. I'm wasting my pepper just to get them to stop on the buns. Oh, crap. <laughs> Thought I could crawl down there, but that ladder is not connected. You can see I'm just sliding around and you turn around. It takes a, a little bit of time to get your footing. Go out of the donut. But I didn't get him. This one has levers, too. Oh, look at that. I timed that perfectly accidentally. <laughs> the donut charges. Yeah, there, I slid into the enemy. Donut constantly charges. Oops. Ah, uh, gosh. <laughs> yeah, I'm screwing up big time there. Yeah. I'm gone. Or, yeah, what a mess. Uh, I'm not gone yet, I guess, but... The problem is I pulled the lever that got rid of that pathway. 
Oh. Yeah. See, I died on this one. Because those levers take away paths, but they can also, you know, obstruct the enemy. And then that donut is just a pain. Let me find a level where every... Probably this one crumbling. Where a lot of stuff breaks. So the enemies, they don't trigger things. But, you know, you can cause a ladder to break on them by just getting on it temporarily. So once I get on this ladder, it's going to break. Then this floor broke. They do respawn, as you can see. It's very tricky, though, to get on and off things <laughs> that are about to break. You just gotta sometimes have perfect timing. There are levels where you have to you know, get on and off things just to make your way to the top. It just really is all in the timing. This, this whole floor is going to break. So you really don't even need to touch the parts on it. It'll just fall once the floor falls. to up in the upper left there's a red bar going up the pepper regenerates it's sort of you know like modern action games where they uh, I, was, <laughs> I didn't even see that ladder where they regenerate your health here the pepper regenerates so yeah with that you know getting star ratings on stage it's very much like you know, modern games, as I keep saying, is just to, I guess, to appeal to people that play games today. I mean, it's nice to have variation, but it's not always for the best, but there's a lot to do here. But I've gone through these levels rather quickly now. I'm not getting gold stars, so it comes down to if you want to play multiplayer or just replay all the levels over and over until you get you know, your gold star ratings. Now this mode here is more like classic. All oh, this one's called classic. And then I got difficulty levels for each one. But this one here is where the, the levels, you're not getting star ratings. Now it's not the original levels or the original graphics or anything. The music I think is similar to the original but what it's doing is your lives carry over from level to level in your pepper, so it's just, you know, see how far you can get. So that is more like the classic style of gameplay. Really, you know, you want to score as much as possible, but the objective is really just to complete each level, keep going, get as far as you can. There are still a lot of power-ups. Now some of them... Oh, I thought I could be, get to the bottom and move away fast enough. Some of the power-ups include flaming breath, freezing, or slowing down enemies, I think. Just not freezing, but slowing them down. And... Ah, oh, get the pickle. Fries will drop every burger piece on screen at least one level. And then there's one that traps the enemies in place. Yeah, there is a freezing one, that's right. The flaming breath is a little tricky. It locks you in place. You can't use ladders. You can just run side to side. Sometimes it doesn't really do any good whatsoever. And if you're not careful, you can 
get hit while you're using the flaming breath. But the one that just appears on the freezes on this place. I'm getting all <laughs> uh, not paying attention really. Yeah, when I stop talking, that's when I'm paying attention. Uh, I, I don't know if I said already. I think the thing I have the hardest part in is getting on and off the ladders at the right time. Sometimes I get stuck. No, this usually dead end. Finish off this level. I mean, I'm gonna stop the video as soon as I die. There's really nothing else to show you. I think you get the idea that there's just a lot more elements to the levels. I don't know if I said multiplayer is local only, so. Can't play it online. The only online aspect is posting high scores in this challenge mode. Oh, I guess I walked too close, so that will be the end of me. I wasn't paying attention to my score, but I don't think it's as good as my high score. Nope, not at all. <laughs> not even close. Alright, thanks for watching.